Guys, what's going on? So, are you scared of death? Do you have this intense fear of dying? Go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt, leave me a comment as well and let me know if there's something that you're dealing with. Excuse me. So I know some of you might be thinking, well, this is a triggering video. Um, guys, you have to face your triggers, uh, especially if they're unavoidable. And I think just avoiding to talk about something um, if, if that's a trigger for you, you should be trying to face this head on. So we're going to have a discussion about this. And I challenge you, uh, if this is a fear of yours, to make it through this whole video. If you make it through this whole video, let me know at the end. Um, and, and just leave a comment down there and let me know what's going on with you. But uh, this is something that started with me whenever I was 12 years old. You don't just have to have hypochondria, health, anxiety, fear, death. You can have any type of anxiety disorder. You can just be a normal dude and, and obsess about this. Um, I was 12 years old at the time, and, and I had this crazy intense fear of death for about two and a half months. This is when it showed its ugly face in my life the first time around. And, uh, of course, it got much worse the second time around whenever I developed health anxiety, panic disorder, social anxiety, and depression. And I dealt with that for five years. So every single day I thought I was dying. So it just magnified that fear. It made it much worse. I was scared of uh, how I was going to die. You know, there's tons of different ways. I was like, well, I don't know if I want to – how would I rather die? By a disease or an accident? It's quicker. If it's an accident, a disease, it's slower. But maybe it's not as crazy – uh, painful or traumatic. Um, I wondered what was going to go through my mind whenever I was dying. I, I'm religious, so I believe that I'm going to heaven based on my faith, but I still had questions like, where, am I going straight to heaven? Am I going to a waiting place? The Bible says that I'm that I won't be breathing while I'm up there. What is it like? I like to breathe. You know, I'm not going to be able to breathe. What does that mean? I'm just going to be a soul. What am I going to look like? Am I going to be uh, the best version of myself? Or am I going to look like how I, how I look like whenever I pass away? There's so many questions. I've always been a very uh, deep thinker. Everything always bothers me, it seems like. That's how I've always been. Um, so sometimes I just have to try to relax even now and to stop acting like I need the answer to everything in life. That it's beautiful as it is and I should enjoy this experience because I'm incredibly lucky to be a part of that. So those are my worries. Those are my fears with death. I also feared my parents dying and other family members dying. Uh, you know, I feared uh, of my children dying. Things like that. Um, it, it worried me. I thought about it every single day. I wasn't living because every day I was thinking about dying. So first off, I can relate with you. You are not alone. Um, if it doesn't matter the age or the anxiety disorder or the state of your mental mind. Um, this, this fear can really overtake anybody. Okay, and it can happen fast too. Whenever I was 12, it was just a random thought that popped in my head and I was and I obsessed over it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I was like coming to that realization. And it's kind of, a, it is a scary thing even if I sit here right now and let myself really think about the day that I'm gonna take my last breath, it can become very real and scary to me again. But I'm not living by doing that. I'm not living by obsessing over death. And I want you, some of you guys to break that cycle. There are so many freaking things to live for, and you are so incredibly uh, lucky to be here. That's my personal opinion. Think about how big this universe is, and think about how small we are compared to the universe. We're like grains of sand divided by millions. <laughs> I mean, that's on a beach. Like, that's how small we are, and I don't want that to be looked at as a bad thing. We are so incredibly lucky to be a part of this. You have won the lottery billions of times just to have this opportunity. You're the fastest sperm to get to the egg. You already defied odds there. Okay, so think about that. You are so incredibly lucky to have a shot at this life. So some things that have helped me since my anxiety days, whenever I was really, really focused in on this, I just focused uh, on the good things that I can get out of life, whether that be enjoying time with my family and my friends. Um, some other things that helped me was... Uh, when I did think about death, it only motivated me to go harder at life, to either enjoy the moment, live in the moment, or to try to accomplish something. Um, I really want to be an entrepreneur. I really want to work from home. Um, I, I'm set on moving soon. These are, these are things that I want to do while I'm young. I don't want to do this when I'm 40 or 50 years old. I want to do this while I'm young so I can spend more time with my kids and really get the most out of life. So death kind of fuels me in a way now. Um, so if you can use death as fuel, and I know that sounds kind of morbid, I guess, kind of weird,
but it works for me. I use death as fuel. I want to get the most out of this life. I don't want death to bring me down, okay? Death is just going to be an end to it. I get that. That's that's inevitable. I can't escape that. And that's another thing. If you can't escape it, and you, we're not going to escape it. You know, we're not. No human has lived forever. I'm just letting you know. Release yourself from the prison that you're that you're encaging yourself in, okay? You're in a cage right now and you have the key to get out but you are you are trapped and, and and the only person holding you in there is yourself stop worrying about things that you cannot control you cannot control death it is going to happen and i know many of you don't like hearing that i still don't like hearing myself say that but million millions billions of people have have lost their lives before us and that's going to continue. And that's something also that kind of puts me at peace. There were beautiful and amazing people out there that passed away. And, um, you know, my family members, I have tons of family members that, that's that's waiting on me, I believe. You know, and that faith has really helped me uh, with this fear of, of dying. And uh, my, my baby sister comes to mind who she passed away whenever she was two months old. So the fact that I'll get to see her and hold her again you know, it, it doesn't make the thought of death so bad. Think about the people that you love and miss that have passed away that you get to see again. Um, you know, I don't know where you are with your faith. Maybe you don't believe in, in, in heaven or an afterlife. And if you don't, then that's okay. You know, you still have to look at life as precious. You know, you have to take advantage of it while you're here. We're here a very small amount, you know, so live each day to the fullest. I'm not perfect at organizing my thoughts on this subject. I'm not perfect at, at getting uh, somebody to completely change their perspective overnight. But if you work on these things day in and day out and think about the things that you're thankful for and, and show gratitude each and every day for the things that you do have in your life, then you're going to change the way that you think to think more positively. And then the end won't be so bad. The end isn't going to be good if you get to the end and every single day of your life you've been worried about the end you know what i mean so why continuously worry over something that's going to happen in the future it's going to happen worry about it when that day comes until then live smile love the people around you i don't want you to think this as like this depressing video i want you to be encouraged some of you are going to watch this video and you're going to set yourself free and i want you to be that person Unlock the cage and leave. Don't let the fact that we are going to die one day, something that's certain, ruin your entire life. Don't let that be you. I hope you got some value out of this, guys. I hope some of you start living today. Again, I, this is kind of scattered around. Uh, I tend to do this sometimes in my videos, go off different trails and ramble. But I hope you got some value. Leave me a comment down below um, if you if you enjoyed this video or if you want to share your story. Uh, the description down below has tons of resources for anxiety, okay? So check that out if you haven't. Um, there is a Facebook group down there. There were over 14,000 members of people that deal with anxiety disorders. A lot of people in there fear death. There's a lot of discussions in, on, on, in that group, excuse me. So join that group today and be a part of that family and that community. Um, also, there is therapy down below. You can get one free week trial of that. So if you haven't tried therapy and you've been dealing with anxiety, stress, depression for months and years, what's holding you back from trying? You don't have to actually leave your home. You can talk to your therapist like I'm talking to you right now. Um, also, you can choose from thousands of therapists. Um, also, uh, there was something else. Oh, yes, it's cheaper than in-person therapy. So how about that? You get the free week trial. And then whenever you actually start paying for sessions, it is going to be a good bit cheaper than actually going to an in-person therapy session. So that's awesome. There are three journals. There are three journals down there as well. The first one's a meditation journal. This is going to help you open your mind, expand your mind, access your subconscious. It's also going to show you how to journal as well. It's a twofer, if you will. That's going to be down below. Below that is a morning sidekick journal. This is going to help you start your day off on the right foot. Many of you with anxiety, stress, depression, or any issues with life in general are not starting your day off in the correct way. This is going to help kickstart your day. So try that out. Also, there's a fat loss and nutrition journal. It'll help you get your diet 
right, help you get those nutrients and vitamins that you need, help you lose weight. A lot of those things are great for your mental health as well, so try that out. My Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter is down below as well. My Patreon account is down there if you want to become a patron and support the channel. Um, that's very much appreciated. You can do that um, down there. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. Again, like if you got some value. Leave me a comment. Um, I love you guys. Hopefully this helps some of you out today.